Hey guys, gals, my fellow gaming soldiers, what is going on? This is Sergeant Merrill here, and uh, this video is going to be for you guys. Again, it's not going to be about the gameplay. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. It's a good example of how sound whoring can win the match for you. But again, this is not going to be about the gameplay. It's going to be about you guys. And I say that because after my last little motivational video, which if you didn't check it out, uh, head on over to my channel or look for a link in the description and uh, look for the video that says keep moving forward because it was, uh, it was a video that was all about moving forward when life hits you hard. And it was rounded off with my favorite Rocky quote, which yes, I love the Rocky series. And the message was just to take the hits and keep getting up. And life can be hard, but life is good, guys. Trust me. Anyway, I received a lot of messages from you guys, and I'm really enjoying it. Uh, you guys are letting me know what's going on in your life, who you guys are, and I really enjoyed getting to know some of you. Um, I didn't get a chance to get back to all of you, but I'm trying. <laughs> and uh, I wanted to start answering some of you guys in the form of a video. And that's what this is going to be about. It's for you guys. So what I did was I took uh, one of the messages that you have, uh, one of you guys sent me, and uh, I'm going to respond to it in the form of a video. So maybe we can call this uh, Letters of Sergeant Merrill or whatever you want. I don't know. It's just an opportunity for me to talk to you guys and uh, I really enjoy that. So, one of you wrote this and I'll be keeping you guys anonymous so don't worry about me putting your name in this. But uh, this person says, Hey Sergeant Merrill, I'm 18 years old and I'm in high school right now. I'm thinking about signing up for the Navy but I also got accepted to the university I applied to. I still have yet to choose a major, and I'm just kind of confused on everything. Well, what I was wondering was, did you go to college and then join, or did you enlist straight out of high school and get your job with the military company afterward? I think he means the contracting company that I work for now. But anyway, he also asks, uh, did the Army help you find a job at all? And just out of, out of curiosity, what was your job? So we're going to answer this um, one at a time. Um, first question was, um, did I go to college and then join or did I enlist straight out of high school um, and get my job with the military company? So, yes and no, I joined right out of high school. Um, trying to put some context into this. Um, my entire family has been in the military. So, joining the military is kind of a rite of passage in my family. Um, and... Uh, I was, I was offered the opportunity to go to college by my parents because they're both, um, they both do well. They're both uh, computer programmers and make a decent amount of money. And uh, they could have supported me. But my parents were all about self-growth, you know. If you provide too much for a person, uh, they won't learn to provide for themselves. And uh, they were really big on that with me and my brother. And I have to thank them for that because it ended up helping me out a lot. But they gave me the opportunity, if I wanted it, to go to college, but I had to maintain a uh, A average. So I believe that's a 3.0 or higher. And, uh, and I couldn't do that. <laughs> I, went, I went my first semester and I think I got like a 1.8 because <laughs> I'd go to class and the professors would be sitting there and they'd say, you know, you don't need to come to class. We're not, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, uh, you know, take a look at your attendance or anything like that, you know, just make sure you know the material and take the tests. And I'm like, got this, no problem. And I'd go and party for three weeks, come back, take the test, and flunk the shit out of it and wonder what was going on. <laughs> so so uh, that didn't work out for me. And, um, and so I joined the military. And uh, I joined as a 46 Quebec, which is a public affairs specialist. And so that answers that question for you. Now, I have some advice for you because, um, you know, retrospect is always twenty twenty, And uh, the military is all about giving you opportunities that you wouldn't otherwise have. I mean, if I didn't join the military, I, I definitely flunked out of college uh, the first time around. So if I didn't join the military, I would have gotten a job, you know, coming out of high school with no uh, real work experience. Um, you know, I probably would have been working in fast food or a restaurant or something like that. And I can tell you right now, guys, getting back into college is 10 times harder than staying in college. You think you're making some bad grades and you want to drop out? Don't do that shit, okay? Going back to college is always harder. And it gets harder with time. So, um, I think that 
Like I said, the military is all about giving you opportunities you wouldn't otherwise have. Here you have a great opportunity. You've been accepted into a university. I went to a community college and flunked out the first time. So I didn't have that opportunity. You, you got accepted, so you must make good grades. So you must have a good, um, you know, study ethic. Uh, and I would highly recommend that you take advantage of that. Highly, highly, highly recommend. Um, the military is great. It's going gonna, it's gonna to help you grow up. It's going to teach you things. But at the same time, you're signing a dotted line that could end up with you losing your life. And I know that's a little, that's a little harsh. You know, not everybody joins the army and dies over in Iraq or Afghanistan, you know, or even gets wounded. Most don't. But I'm just saying that that is a, a possibility that you do not need to take. You know, it's a, it's a risk that you don't need to take. And um, I recommend that you hit up this university and just do the best you can. And if you want to join the military after that, go in as an officer. You're going to make 10 times more. Do you know that a, a first lieutenant makes more than, an, than a, a, a sergeant major? A first lieutenant, that's the second rank uh, down the officer list. Makes more than a sergeant major, which is an E8. That's the eighth rank in the enlisted. And to make sergeant major, you need to be career, like 20 years or more. So I'm telling you right now that if you have the opportunity to go to university, and you think that you're going to do good in that university, I highly recommend you do that first. Uh, now, did the Army help me find a job when I got out? Yes and no. They, they help you with a lot of job fairs, but a lot of the job fairs for the military are mostly for cops, uh, firemen. I mean, I may be uh, being a little harsh here, but I didn't have a whole lot of help when I got out of the military. And... Uh, like I said, I joined as a journalist, and I, I learned a lot. Don't get me wrong. that I learned so much as a journalist. I mean, you see it spilling over into my commentaries, my professionalism, you know, my graphic design. All of it helped. Um, I gained a lot of experience. But when I got out, it was right when the market crashed, and uh, I had a real hard time finding a job. And when it came right down to it, um, I got my job because of my security clearance and not because of my experience. So that is my other piece of advice. If you are going to join the military, let's lay it down right here. If you're going to join the military, uh, number one, make sure you're, you're going into a job field that will secure you a fantastic job when you get out of the military. Um, don't get me wrong. A lot of people like to go in infantry. They want to they want to put their time into the service and just go shoot bad guys and that's that's great but a chopper gunner does not have a lot of whole does not have a whole lot of options when he gets out of the military and that's a shame it really is but that's that's just the situation there are 212 jobs in the military and i would narrow it down to what you really want to do in life and uh and go for that now on another hand make sure you get a security clearance there are a lot of jobs that require security clearances, secret clearance, top secret clearance, and uh, absolutely make sure you get one of those because the military is one of the only ways for you to get a security clearance. And uh, just letting you know, a top secret security clearance, even if you have no job experience and what the job wants to hire you for, you will start out making sixty to seventy thousand dollars a year. All you need is the clearance, you know. So if you don't have any type of uh, record, any arrest record that would stop you from getting a clearance, get that shit, okay? You can you can get a job in the blink of an eye when you get out of the military if you have a top secret clearance, guaranteed. Um, I got my job right now working for this uh, contracting company. I can't really talk about it a whole lot, but but uh, I have a secret clearance, so I got a decent job with just a secret clearance. If you have a top secret clearance, you're going to make a freaking killing. All right, so that's my recommendations. Running out of time here. Um, I think that's all you had. Um, did you enlist right out of high school and get your job? Yeah, yeah, no. So pretty much answered everything. Um, like I said, guys, I'm really enjoying these these messages that you're sending me. I love answering these questions. And I love helping you out. I've been in your situation, you know, uh, not knowing what I wanted to do and trying a few different things and failing miserably. And uh, I still managed to come out on top. So I think I have some some advice that can help you out. If you're looking to join the military and have more questions, come to me. Okay, I will tell you straight up. If the recruiter is lying to you, I will tell you straight up what's going on. Um, my entire family has been in the military. I have two uncles that are recruiters. Okay. I'm the person you want to talk to if you're having trouble with that. So I'm just throwing that out there. I'm willing to help you guys out. But I think that's all I have here. 
Hope you enjoyed the gameplay, guys. This is Sergeant Merrill out here.